In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can improve your internet speeds, your download speeds, as well as improve your latency on Xbox. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. As you may already know, I've already posted a video on this ages ago. This is basically just an updated guide with a few extra strips included in order to improve your internet speed, your download speeds, as well as your latency. And basically it will include extra codes as well so I can help more reviews because I did see in the comment section basically it was mixed reviews and comments. People saying it did work, people saying it made it worse or didn't work. So this video is going to clear up all that, make sure that everyone can basically get the best speeds possible and have next to none latency. Before we begin today's video guys, make sure you like, subscribe and turn that notification bell on so you never miss any of my videos ever. And remembering commenting I subscribe down in the comment section below because I will be replying to all your comments that say that as well as questions and queries. So make sure not to hesitate to do that. Now let's get into today's video. So the first step you want to do guys is press your Xbox home button on your controller. Head all the way down to settings. Then you want to click on network settings. And then you want to head over to advanced settings. But before I do that, I'm going to show you my network speed and statistics before I change them. So there's going to be a before and after. So I'll just skip to that to show you basically what my statistics are now. And then I'll show you basically the after once I basically implement the strategy to improve my speeds and latency. So basically, you want to head down to advanced settings. Then you want to head to DNS settings. And you want to head down to manual. And for the first code, you want to go 1001 for the primary DNS. And this will basically be repeated for the secondary DNS as well. So it will be basically 1001 again. And then once you've done that, you want to head down to port selection. Your MAC address will be coming back to that after. You want to click on manual. Then you want to click on select port and you want to go the biggest one possible basically the one at the bottom because this improves the network speed and it pumps more basically power into your xbox to focus on the network performance and then what you want to click on is clear your mac address and you want to restart your console basically so you can implement the faster speeds then guys once you've restarted your xbox after clearing your mac address and implementing the steps before that you basically want to go back into your settings and then click on network settings again once I'm in it. There we go to network settings. And then you want to test your network speed and statistics. I'm just going to show you whether or not this improved it. Now, as you can see, guys, it has improved my latency, my download speed and my upload speed. This might not work for all of you depending on where you are and where you are in the world, depending on location wise. But this first method for me did improve my latency, my download speed and my upload speed. Now I'll quickly show you a different DNS code. So you want to head back to DNS settings, click on menu, and then you want to clear all this out and put 8888 for your primary DNS. And obviously once you type that in for your secondary DNS, this is going to be 8844. Now this might improve it even better for you, or this one might be better for you or worse for you, depending on where you are. As you can see, it's now in. And now I'll quickly test this connection. Once you're back out, I'll just say you're connected to the internet. You just want to click all good. Then I'll quickly show you. Let's now see if it improved it or not. Now, as you can see, guys, my latency hasn't been improved once again. But however, my download speed and my upload speed have been affected a little bit. It all depends on which method has the best improvement of your upload speed, your download speed, and your latency for you. So depending on which one works best for you will be the one you choose. Now for this last example, as you can see, I'm back in the DNS settings. I'll be putting in a local DNS. Don't use this unless you're in Australia or close to Australia, obviously. But I'm, I'll be putting down in the description below of a DNS locator. So if any of those methods don't really work the best for you, make sure you check that link out because it will help you locate the closest DNS to your current location. So if you check that out, it'll basically, if you click on like basically wherever, like say for example, like New York, if you click on there, it'll bring up the DNS and then you can type that into your Xbox, the primary and the secondary, and it should help improve your download speeds and your latency as well as your upload speeds. So this DNS I'm currently using is closest to Brisbane in Queensland. So I'm pretty decently close to this. So let's see if this improves it again. So we'll go to test network speed and connectivity. And let's let it load again. 
So as you can see guys, my latency remained the same as the 176, but it also uploaded my download speed and my upload speed. So this method probably would work better for all of you, depending on your location. So if you're going to use the third method, use the closest DNS to your current location to get the best results. Now, as you've seen just what I did on the screen there, you can reset everything by clicking on automatic when you go back into the function. And basically, if you're going to, you know, go back to automatic because none of the methods work best for you, you've got to restart your console and that will bring everything back to normal. That's basically it for today's video, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on so you never miss any of my videos. And I'll catch you all in the next video.